Up on her tippy toes, her little hands struggling to reach, four-year-old Jordan Hagel is having the best time helping her mom. Yeah, most of the time. Some of them she can do. They're part of the surge in returning bottles and cans for double the money than it used to be. It's much nicer, so we definitely save them. And they added everything, like the Gatorades and all their little juices that they drink. So now it's ridiculous to recycle them. The state just released their report. Redemption rates have gone from 65 up to 90 percent now, thanks to that extra nickel attached to each bottle and can eligible. I'm just an avid recyclist, so I, I never throw anything away if I don't have to. We haven't all been as thorough as Shirley here, though. In 2016, redemption rates fell below the state mandate, which authorized the OLCC to raise the incentive to 10 cents. We're looking at a selection of some of the containers that are now returnable that weren't returnable in years past, like energy drinks, like coffee drinks, certain kinds of juices. Basically anything that's not liquor, wine, milk, or meal replacement shake bottles counts for 10 cents. If it's a redeemable container, we're going to take it, whether it says OR 10 cents on it or not. There are 25 of these bottle drop centers across Oregon. Last year, the number of people registering for accounts to keep their deposit money on file instead of cashing out each time rose by 50 percent. So Bottle Drop is looking to add more sites. I think they're cleaner in general than the uh, grocery store ones. Also, there seem to be less malfunctions than the grocery store ones. In Tigard, Nina Melhoff, KGW News.